hello everyone in this video we'll talk about the rule of 72 uh, this is a handy metric when it comes to exam or uh, for day to day calculations so let me start so suppose if we have an investment of i and we want this investment to grow to 2i so we want our investment to be double and the interest rate in the market uh, is equal to r right so we want to know how much time will it take for this investment to be two times and uh, the there are certain ways to calculate this but uh, if you use this trick the uh, approximate time can be calculated very easily and the time will be equal to 72 divided by r so for example if uh, uh, rate uh, is 10 then time will be equal to 7.2 years if uh, rate is 20 then time will be equal to 3.6 years so how this uh, rule works so let's try to solve this problem in a regular way so in regular way uh, we have to say that we know that uh, um, our uh, suppose uh, uh, we have uh, investment i and uh, we have uh, interest rate 1 plus uh, r right and uh, so we invested for n years so it will be t here so that should be equal to 2i right so this is our in initial investment and then we have an interest rate every year and this is compounded every year so that uh, will become 2i after a certain time right and we want to calculate what the time should be right so now if we uh, solve this equation then uh, so i will be cancelled out by another i so so this will cancel out and uh, then we have uh, 1 plus r to power t is equal to 2 so uh, further if you take log on both sides so it will be t uh, log of 1 plus r uh, is equal to log of 2 or t uh, is equal to log of 2 divided by log of 1 plus r right so now if i go to excel and try to solve this uh, equation so let me go to uh, excel and uh, so now suppose if we have r so it is we start with 2 3 4 5 so this is the uh, rate of interest so right and then uh, we have time so time should be equal to as we calculated before log of 2 divided by log of uh, 1 plus uh, because this is in the percentage right? so it says 35 years right so we can keep doing this and we can also generate a table for for all the r's and these numbers right? so now if you look here then uh, if you multiply time with r that will be equal to 2 into 35 so that is 70.0056 so this is very close to 72 so if you keep doing this you will see that all the numbers are close to 72 so 70.3 70.6 71 so if we approximate the number to be 72 then all we need to do is uh, so if i use the same approach so if i use our trick then instead of using 70 i'll always 70.005 i'll use uh, always 72 so I keep using 72 for all these rates and then I'll calculate the time time will be equal to 72 divided by 
wait so now you can see that I get uh, numbers which are very close to the actual time it should be so it's uh, so suppose here it is 11.89 but here I get 12 here is 10.244 I get 10.28 so so this is a good approximation instead of doing this complicated calculation we can just get approximation using this trick so I hope uh, this video make uh, sense to you and it's useful and uh, we'll come up with more tricks uh, in more upcoming videos thank you